Hi folks, my name is Fred. Welcome to my shop. Today we're going to talk about upgrading my sterno powered steam plant to propane and we're going to show it running on propane. If you remember from the first part I took parts of a system that I bought this summer at an antique shop, put them together, put them on a board and uh, created this little system which ran okay but it took 45 minutes for the sterno to bring the boiler up to temperature. I made the container out of billet aluminum so it would just fit through the door and it didn't didn't do the job. So we're going to upgrade to propane. This is what I used uh, propane system converted it over with my own regulator so I could control opened up the air orifices a tad and built a manifold and took a, the top off of a butane camping stove and used it to as a diverter. This is what it looks like screwed to the base and has a flame on it. Had to cut out the back of the boiler to accommodate the manifold. This is a picture of the fire tubes looking at the bottom. Here's a little video of the burner in operation works really well now we're gonna start up the the system first we got to put water in that's the water inlet for the boiler take the cap off I made a funnel it's got a quarter by 40 threads in it screw the funnel onto the top and believe it or not it takes up to two quarts of water to fill that boiler. This is a hand pump that is used during the firing process to add water to the system as it's running. That's the drain so you can empty the boiler at the end of the run. This is the drain for the collector which we'll talk about. Now we'll watch it fire here. And here's the video. Okay, here we are under steam. It uh, took 12 minutes to raise steam from 60 degrees Fahrenheit to uh, 30 pounds on the gauge right here. The uh, oil injector is open. The oil is being introduced into the steam line. You can see that I insulated the steam line to try to keep it a little a little warmer so there was less condensation. Here's the engine running. As I think I may have mentioned earlier, the exhaust runs up and then into this uh, collector. And the steam comes out of the top of the collector. This is also the water reservoir. And water is directed from here into this little hand pump and is pumped through this line the small line here into the bottom of the boiler where it's heated sight glass the uh, this is the steam injector which if you had this coal fired you open this and it a steam, there's a, a pipe that will lead steam out of here and will cause a, a flow of air to kind of increase the fire. I'll open it just a little bit. You can hear it. Steam is escaping out the top, which would increase the, the flow of air in the firebox. I've turned it down quite a bit from the original starting position. I want to maintain around 30 pounds of air on it. You can see that the little safety valve here is doing its thing, just keeping it right at 30. I could crank down these little screws here and actually uh, get it, you know, to have a higher ambient pressure in the boiler, but I really don't want to do that. This is just a model just demonstration I'm not you know trying to do any work with it 
sounds pretty good. There is a lot of condensation here because the uh, the engine really hasn't come up to temperature. It's only been running about eight minutes. So the casting here is still cool. So when the steam comes through, it, it tends to cool down and, and condense into water. But when this entire unit gets up to temperature, there'll be a lot less water condensing. In a real steam engine, they put uh, cladding around here. There's insulation that goes around the cylinder. And then there's usually a little planking that they put around. It looks kind of like a barrel. And that helps keep the temperature of the cylinder up and keep the condensation down. It makes the steam a little more efficient. Chugging along pretty good. We're running right about 35 pounds of, of pressure. This is the uh, port for the whistle. <laughs> gotta work on that. That uh, it got waterlogged the last time. I don't know if you saw the first run, but it got waterlogged and it sounded terrible. So we'll work on that. But I'm pretty happy on the way it's it's coming together. I'll be taking this to steam shows. It's it's self-contained. Uh, propane, a couple of a couple of wrenches, a gallon of water, and this thing in some oil, and this thing will run all day. So, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the update. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment. Hello, you like this kind of thing? Let me know that too. Well, that's it from here. Have a good day, and thanks for watching.